Hello movie buffs, I don't know about you, but I was having a bit of a Marvel movies overload lately. So, I was getting ready to hate Iron Man 3 until I finally saw it. And in one word, wow. Wow indeed! What makes this latest chapter thoroughly engaging is its heart and we all know that the heart of the man behind the iron suit is Pepper Potts, played by Gwyneth Paltrow. The filmmakers put her to good use in this film and the result, an action movie that has equal parts chaos and pathos. Our hero Tony Stark, aka Iron Man, aka Robert Downey Jr. is in top form. I think Tony has had a very human journey. And he's absolutely right. We see our hero's journey from being an egotistical genius to a man in search of redemption. I just didn't know how to phrase it until now. Set up like a prequel of some sorts, the story starts from the very beginning, long before Stark became Iron Man. What happened long ago in Switzerland that would have Iron Man fight for his life today? I'm gonna come get the body. Our hero is only as good as the villain and boy oh boy, Ben Kingsley nearly stole the show as a mysterious terrorist named Mandarin who thinks he's a teacher. You'll never see me. And then there's Aldrich Killian, played by Guy Pierce, a scruffy nerd with a questionable motivation. Now, if you think I'm giving it all away, take heed. Iron Man 3 has a lot of unpredictable twists and turns that we barely scratched the surface. Uh. Big credit goes to writer-director Shane Black making his first Iron Man movie. The writer of such hit action films like the Lethal Weapon movies knows the perfect balance between explosions and comedy. And in Perfect Iron Man choice. 3, there's a lot of those. Want an empty life? But there's also drama. Stark is suffering from anxiety attacks from the events of the Avengers. He can't sleep, he's a broken down man, but at least he still has his sense of humor. Like any old Marvel movie, this one's about science. The good people use science for good. The bad people, well, they use it to fight our heroes. Iron Man 3 is a satisfying crowd pleaser that will have you clap for joy. Yes, the movie feels climactic. So I'm afraid this may be the last of Iron Man as we know it. For that, Iron Man 3 gets three and a half Iron Patriot. So there you have it, movie buffs. Iron Man 3 is simply the best of the franchise. I'm Iron Manny, the movie guy. Bye!